Hello and welcome. Are you a beginner of playing the Indian Banzuri and are you struggling with the tuning or getting in tune with it? Then I might have some advice for you here. So, um, this video is for you to explain what, uh, about the nature of the intonation of the flutes. Um, the convenient part of playing the Banzuri is that you do not have to tune them. Some people point it out like this, so you just pick it up and you play it. And after some practice you might take a little while <laughs> that you get a good sound out of it. And um, also you need to practice to get a good intonation. Assuming that the flute maker you got the flute from did made a good job for you. And uh, the, the instrument itself is in tune, meaning the ratio between the notes. Um, but there's something more. So let's say you have a really good flute and uh, the, it is tuned well. The, the total tuning, the absolute pitch of the whole instrument is always changing with the weather. This you need to know and um, also with the humidity, but mainly the temperatures. So the higher the temperature, the higher also the sound is. So meaning when this instrument I play here now in hot India, um, it is supposed to be on 440. It will be already on 446 now in these temperatures. When I carry this to the Northern Hemisphere in Europe or Canada or wherever, uh, this will sound on maybe 432 or 438. Or uh, whatever in between. This can go up down quite significantly, even a half note possible. So this you do not have under control. So you need to know that because um, you might have an instrument which you know, okay, it's supposed to sound on 440. You use a player along, you use your drone, and you will force yourself um, unnecessarily into using uh, uh, scoping up with this um, reference which you set up for yourself. So my advice is, now I'm taking a smaller flute here. This is an A flute. Most beginners they start with A or C flutes. And before you set up your tempura or before you tune the guitar with the guitar player you're playing or whatever, you warm yourself up. You will find some methods and material on my webpage also for these type of things, how to warm properly up. But let's assume you have warmed up and you are comfortable playing out of the whole range. So you do this without any reference first. And now you can you have a chance to measure it. You choose. You, you now you can set. A, a, you open a tuner, whatever tuner app you have, or the old type physical tuners, and you check on the calibration of this note. So the tuner will show you. In this case, it's an A flute. It will show up A, twenty cents up, twenty cents down, thirty cents up, whatever, and you measure that. So you try not to adjust to the tuner. You measure it. After you measure it, you can set up your electronic tempura, your drone, your uh, Arial Pro play along or whatever methods you, you will use. Or you can play this note to the instrumentalist, the guitar player or whatever other instruments you have, which is tunable, this is important, and they need to tune towards you. When I'm teaching online, I have several flutes of different pitch, so I, that I have the flexibility to choose according to your needs, because you as a student, uh, what do, does, do not want to be forced into an inconvenient range. So you can bend. Now this is the other part of the message I have for you because you can bend the note quite a lot. Now I'm playing all three holes closed. This is a. So that much it is. But of course the outer end, the upper end and the lower end is very uncomfortable to play, for instance. It's uncomfortable. And also this. Just in the middle. This is the one which is comfortable. And this is how the tuning is set by the flute, by the circumstances, and also by my technical abilities in the flute at this moment. So find this out first and adjust the rest around that. Um, therefore, it's quite difficult to play uh, Banzuri's with piano players because you might have need to have a set of flutes, which then you choose one which might suit, 
suit into the calibration the piano is tuned in. Um, or you choose other instruments to play with guitar players. Guitar players is very easy because they can always tune. They need to tune anyway. Um, yeah, so that's it. So this is uh, um, for you to, to give you this little advice because the, um, I went to this struggle a lot um, because I got told, okay, this flute is really properly made. This is on 440 and in the beginning I didn't have the technical ability and I forced myself all the time into this 440, which is a lot of struggle and it's actually slowing down the process a lot. So if you reverse that, uh, find your comfortable one and then set the tempura accordingly and then we, we go one by one to get the intonation of each of the notes properly also making sure that the flute is really correctly made in the, in the ratio and the tuning um, which is also not to be taken for granted uh, building bonzori flutes is an art as well as playing them so you need to find uh, some good sources uh, for all of that further information please watch my web page uh, there will always be a bunch of things also for free and little tips and hints. You can sign up for the newsletter there to get updates. And uh, if you're looking for a teacher, I'm also available for online, ses online sessions via whatever messenger. I appreciate Discord at the moment because of the audio settings, which is very much better than anyone else, even better than Zoom. But this might change in the future. So, all the best. Hope to see you sometime and take care. Bye-bye.